Have you been asked to find the revenue per unit and the contribution margin per unit given only the contribution margin ratio and the variable expenses and you're not quite sure how to find it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and in today's video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to find the answers. But first, I want to say, I believe something wonderful is about to happen for you. So be on the lookout for it. And now, back to the video. In this problem, we are told that a company's contribution margin ratio for a particular product is 40%. And that variable expenses are $18. And that's a per unit expense. That's per unit we need to find the revenue per unit and the contribution margin per unit. How are you going to find that? Well, we need to take a look at the ratios and the formulas for these items. So I'm going to slide this up here. And first, we're going to look at the contribution margin is equal to the unit revenue minus the variable cost. So if something cost, say, um, $100 per unit and the variable costs were $25 per unit, the contribution margin would be $75 per unit. So that is how the contribution margin works. But that's just for a dollar figure. Also, there is something called contribution margin ratio, and this winds up giving us a percentage and it's unit revenue minus the unit variable cost divided by the unit revenue. And we're going to want to multiply that by 100 to turn it into a percentage. But for right now, that's the formula we need to use. So how do we use these to find out the revenue per unit and the contribution margin for, per unit? Let me show you. So let's assume that the revenue, that's the amount that you're receiving per unit, let's just say that we're going to set that equal to 100%. Because whatever revenue is, that's 100%. That's the starting spot. You don't get to keep 100% of the revenue because there's variable costs and other things that are taken out before you get to the net profit. But we're starting with revenue of 100%. The thing that we do take out next would be variable costs. We don't know what that is as a percentage, so I'm going to put that as a question mark because we don't know what that is. And we certainly don't know. Um, all we know is the dollar figure. And the last part of that is we're left with contribution margin. And we're told that the contribution margin, and I'm going to put this as the contribution margin ratio, the contribution margin ratio is 40%. So it's a simple algebra problem. If we've got 100% is our revenue, and our contribution margin, after we take out variable costs, is 40%, how much do we subtract out? Yes, you're right, 60%. 100% minus 60% is 40%. If you're not sure how to do that, we can just say 100% minus our unknown, which is x, is equal to 40%. We want to solve for x, so what do we do? Well, I can add x to both sides, and so we're left with 100% is equal to 40% plus x, and then I subtract 40% from both sides. This is just doing algebra. And if I subtract 40% from both sides, we 100% minus 40% is 60%. And that becomes zero, so that's our x. Our x is 60%. That's the part we're trying to fill in here. Thank you for that thumbs up. It really helps the channel. 
So we know that the variable costs are equal to 60%. What is that in a dollar basis? Well, our variable costs, our variable expenses, we're told is 18%. It could be termed variable costs or variable expenses. Usually a better term would be variable costs uh, because we're trying to find out the cost of an item but we could leave it as expenses as well. So I wanna have it both ways. Our variable costs are $18. So we've got $18 here, and that represents the 60%. That's our 60%. So how can we find out how much the dollar figures are for these two items, the 40% and the 100%? We're gonna do a little bit more algebra. We know that the $18 is equal to our, our $18 is equal to our contribution of 60%, 60% of the revenue, because the revenue is 100%, 60% of that is $18, $18. So we know it's 60%. If it's 60%, we know that 60% is can be rewritten as a decimal 0.6, right? If you forgot how to convert percentages to decimals, I've got a video linked up here that will help you with that. So I'm setting my $18 is equal to 60%, which is 0.6, 60% of the revenue per unit. Sixty percent of revenue per unit is eighteen dollars. In other words, sixty percent of this eight of this one hundred percent is the eighteen dollars. So now we can do a little bit of algebra. I want to get the zero point six out of there, and it's multiplied. So I do the opposite. I divide by zero point six, and if I do it to one side, I need to do that to the other side. Zero point six. These cancel out. So I've got my revenue per unit left over, and I have got the $18 divided by 0.6. To do that, I'm going to pull out my BA2 plus calculator, which is a, I like this calculator, and you may want to consider getting one for yourself. If you do, I've got a link down in the description, and there's also one over here on the screen. I'm going to put in my $18, which is the top amount, and I'm going to divide by 0.6. We're dividing by the 0.6, and that's going to give us our revenue per unit. I hit the equal sign, and that gives me $30. That's our revenue per unit is $30. I can put that up here. Revenue per unit, $30. So that means we're selling it for $30. Next, we need to find the contribution margin per unit. How do we find that? Well, we look at this other formula here. That tells us contribution margin is equal to unit revenue minus the variable cost. We know that the unit revenue is $30. And we know the variable cost is $18 because we're told that. We're given that $18 up here. We found the revenue per unit. I've already got the $30 on here. All I need to do is subtract out the $18, and that gives us $12 per unit contribution margin. In other words, for every unit that is sold, $12 of that sales price goes toward the bottom line. That's what we're telling our, that's what this number is telling us, $12 per bottom line. And we can also double check this work because we know from our earlier calculations that the contribution margin ratio is 40%. We were given that, right? Contribution margin is 40%. If we took the $30 and we multiply it by 40%, which is 0.4 in decimal form, if I take 30 and I multiply it by 0.4, and that gives me $12, which is the amount we have here. So that's a double check, and you can do that to make sure that you've got the right amount. I recommend double checking your work if you can. That's all I have in this video. If you want to support this channel, one of the best ways you can do this is by sharing this video with somebody else who you think might need it or could get some benefit out of it. 
Also, I have a membership program. If you click the join button down before, below, there's a couple different options for membership. Members get special perks, such as early access to videos. Also, you get special members only videos and high priority if you ask a question to get a question answered and or I might create a video based on your question. So there's a lot of great perks for that, but you don't even realize all the perks that might be obtained if you click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you and make it an awesome day.